City Bug here, ready to kick off Survival 303, A Beginner's Guide. Now this game has been around since 2008, meaning it's been around for like 13 years. I started playing this game in 2013, about like 5 years later, and I've loved the game ever since. Uh, now you're probably wondering now what this game even is, or you've played it and aren't quite sure where to start or what to do. That's why I've created this video to hopefully help. So let's get to it. Survival 3 3 Classic FE, as the title says, is a survival game. So you spawn into a survival wilderness simulation. So before we begin our adventure on Survival 3 3, we have to get to know the world. Now let's take a look at the map. All right, so here's the map. There's about 13 islands on Survival 3 3. We got, from starting from the north, we got uh, Spire, we got Plateau, Magma, there's Terrafix, Gold Rock, Flax, Paradise, we got Bento Isle, Rockma, Spring, Rock Shard, which it's actually also called Canyon. I've just always called it Rock Shard, because that's just what everyone called it when I first started playing. I'm just used to calling it that, but you guys can call it whatever you'd like. And then we got Desert, lastly Mainland. As you can tell, mainland is a lot bigger than all the other islands, and it consists of most of the spawn points. Alright, spawning in. So we got Paradise Isle. Once you spawn in, this is kind of what your screen will look like. So we'll just start off with the basics here. So here's kind of what the island looks like from above, since we're now in the game, instead of looking down at a map. We'll take a look at the bottom. We got our usual Roblox Hot bar there, we got these stats on the side, and then we got these tabs at the top, and then of course your Roblox name and the chat. So with these stats on the side, we've got our health, we've got our hunger, which is the yellow one, and then we got our thirst with blue, and then our usual Roblox um, health for most games out there on Roblox, or at least old games. So for stats, our health is actually a little bit different than the Roblox health. We got the hunger, which we don't want it to go to zero because it can kill us. Um, and that health bar will go down. And then we got the thirst, which if that goes down, then we die as well. So that's some. those, are, those stats are things that you really want to pay attention to. All right, so moving on to the bottom hot bar, we got forage. And if you can tell, it says click an object to forage it. So let's see, we got pile of sand. So if you click it, it'll um, kind of highlight it and turn green, kind of like I was showing you guys. Um, so over here, let's see, let's go into this area in, at Paradise. So each island's kind of different setups. This one's got some um, nice starter areas. We got these small leaves, as you can tell from the forage. I'll forage those real quick. And then this small bush stump. And then we got these berries. And depending on the item that you're trying to forage, each one will have a different duration of like how long it takes to forage it. So if we come over here, we got these apples and they are quick forage as you can tell. And then if we try that, it goes a lot longer than the, the apples. All right, so let's go ahead and forage a few more small tree stumps. Moving on, we'll move on to the next hot bar item. It's the backpack. So with backpack, it holds all the items that you have foraged. So we got apples, we got the berries, we got the bush stumps. And when you try to click on them to take them out, that's kind of what it looks like. And then you just click to place them down. That's when the drag button comes in handy. We got the, which is the first on our hot bar. And you can just click the item and move it around wherever you want it. Now, one thing you may notice is that I can't click and drag the other objects that are around me. And the reason for this is because I have not foraged them. So you can only click and drag the items that you have foraged. All right, so moving on to eat slash drink. So if you look over here at my stats, we got the hunger and thirst kind of low. So let's go over to these berries and you can just click them and eat them. And it shows up as berry portion one. And as you can see, my hunger is going up as well as my thirst. So if we come over here to these apples, you can see that they're portion one as well. And if you're low on hunger, you're probably going to have to eat a lot of berries or apples because portion one is not a lot. All right, so now that we are full, let's move on to the last item on our hot bar, which is the craft, as you see right here. So as you click on it, you got this kind of icon that pops up. We got 
create tool, we got process item, and then create item right there. So basically, this is the crafting menu that's going to allow you to create a lot of different things to help you survive in the survival simulation wilderness world. Okay, so let's pull some things. Well, let's go over here first so that we can actually have a little bit more room and you guys can see. And as you can tell, my thirst is getting a little bit low. So let's craft something to fix that. So let's place down these small leaves and then we'll click the craft. We'll click on each of the items. So when you're crafting, you're going to click the items and then it'll show you a highlighted black box around them. And you'll see in the crafting menu, they'll pop up right there. So for this, we're going to do create item and we've got woven leaves created. So we're going to go in our backpack and we're going to pull those woven leaves out. And we're going to go back to our crafting menu. And we're going to click the woven leaves. And because we're making a tool, we're going to click create tool. And there we go. We got a canteen created so this canteen, we can fill up with water. So let's go to this river. You just click it. And then, so we got five drinks available for us to drink up. And look at that, we already got our thirst up. Great. So now I wanna show you guys what would happen if you just use the eat slash drink. So if you click it, you can see that your health on the stats bar goes down each time you take a drink. But if you use your canteen, your health is not gonna go down which is why it's important to use your canteen because if that health bar goes down, then you will die, basically. So let's say I wanna get over to that island over there. But as soon as you go into the ocean, you're gonna drop straight down to the bottom. So you're gonna have to click that swim button. And while you're down here, you can drown. So you gotta watch out with that health because that health, if it goes to zero, you die. So as you're down here, your health will decrease. Let's just, let's just see how long it takes. Okay, there it went. All right, so then you're, I'm gonna click swim and get out of the water so I don't die. Let's get on this island. And as you can see, that took a lot of our health, so you do not wanna be swimming because when you swim, you have a certain amount of duration. I'll show you here. Once that gets to the end, that bar, that white bar, you run out and you have to just walk in the ocean and wait till it recharges so to fix that we can make a raft so gathering these tree stumps we'll get them out of our backpack now and then we're going to craft them so click both of the tree stumps they'll highlight the black box around them and you'll show up right here in the craft menu and you're going to click uh, click create item and you'll get a hole so we're going to place that hole down And I'm gonna make one more. So we'll make another hole. There's also this wall, which that's for building. So holes are for um, building ships and walls are for building uh, other buildings. So here's kind of the skill menu. You need different skills to unlock other craftable items. So here's the hole. We're gonna click the hole and then click create item. So we get it on our hot bar. And then you can't place the raft on the island as you can see. So you're gonna place it in the water, and then you're gonna step on that little extra bump on the raft, and you're able to control it and go off. So let's head on over to uh, one of these islands over here. Let's go over to Bento. So if you remember the map, next to Paradise, we've got Rockland to the left of me, that gray island that we kind of you could see a little bit. And I've put an arrow in so you can see kind of where we are at. And then coming back to the mat, as you can see, I'm heading straight over to Bento. All right, so now that we are on Bento Island, here's kind of what the island looks at from above. We got two water sources over there, and then we got a bunch of trees, and then these animals. Let's forge this tree real quick, and we'll move on to creating weapons so we can take out the bentos on this island, which is why it's called Bento Island. So getting that tree stump out, we're going to craft it into a, a weapon. So let's do craft item. And highlight it, and then we'll go over to, to create item, and it'll show us a menu of handles. So click that large handle, and show you guys back. So we got the medium handle, handle, and large handle. So these are all the handles for all different types of tools. So for the first weapon that we are going to craft is the large handle for a battle club. So this is one of the basic weapons in the game. 
It does the least amount of damage, but it's good for starting out. So we'll just click that handle and then we'll click create tool and it'll give us the battle club. All right, so let's move on over to one of these bentos. So this is a bento buck right here with the horns. So when you attack it, they, you will take damage. He'll come back at you and try to attack you. So as you can see, some of my health has gone down, the Roblox health. And that's the health, that's kind of your um, battle health, I suppose. So when you take damage from players or animals, you'll take, your health will go down next to the um, your hot bar. So as you can see, okay, so I took out the bento buck. So let's move on to just the bentos. So the, here's a bento over here. So when you are attacking animals or players, you're always going to want to go for the head because it gives you the most amount of damage. So see, as I go for the head, we got a decent amount of damage there. There's some more. And these guys want to run away from you. They don't fight. So they have a different type. So they got red. So we got raw bento meat. So let's forge that. We'll go in our backpack. And as you can see, it's right there. And then to eat this raw bento meat, um, we got to cook it. So let's see. If we come over here, we got this stone rock over here. There are two of them on the aisle. As you can see, you can forge the stone. So we got one right here and we got one over there. So let's forge some of this stone real quick. And I want to make, um, actually a better weapon first. Let's do that first before we make, um, some flint and fire making bows. So let's get these stones out of our inventory and we'll click them and it'll show up in our inventory. And as you can see, you can't create tool there. Can't do process item and you can't, but you can do uh, create items. So let's do the cut stones. The boulders are for building and cut stones for tools. So let's get that cut stone out, and then we'll get this tree stumped out. We'll create item and do a medium handle this time. So the medium handle, what we can do with it is we can create it with this cut stone, and we want to create a spear. So let's do create item, and we got a stone spear. So this is kind of what the spear looks like. Um, let's try it on one of these bentos. So as you can see, it actually does a lot more damage than the battle club. So there we go. That was a lot quicker. Let's kill a few more. Another thing I want to show you is if you click just the body and then one with the head, as you can see the difference between the health. So this one had a lot uh, less damage taken than the other one. Now that we have a good amount of bento meat, raw bento meat, let's get some fire sources started so that we can actually cook this meat. So as you can see, if you just eat it plain, a lot of your health drastically drops. So we're gonna need, you can either use large leaves or like just something that can burn. You can use a small tree stump, just whatever. But first, we're going to need a fire starter. So let's get out this small tree stump and small leaves that I just foraged real quick. And I'm going to drink some water so that I keep up on my thirst and refill my canteen. But that's going to have to be it for today. Thank you so much for watching, guys. I hope you enjoyed and I hope this was helpful. Consider subscribing and leaving a like or a comment. And I'll catch you guys next time.